Welcome home everybody, my name is Julia and welcome to today's video. It's been a while but I am finally on leave. I'm taking a break which we will get into later but it's Friday morning here and I am going to go to the gym today but before I go I wanted to do a very quick cleanup. Next week I do plan on doing uh, one week of a cleaning routine so I wonder if you guys can guess it in this video just by a couple hints here and there which routine I'll be working on next week. I will try to do some today, but for next week's video, I definitely wanna try doing half while I'm on leave and the other half while I'm back at work, so working full time to see if it really works for my lifestyle. But today we're gonna to do a quick clean. I have some eggs boiling with a nine minute timer, so we're gonna to try to get as much as we can done during that time. I've noticed that many cleaning routines start with making your bed. This is not my forte, but taking those extra three minutes in the morning makes a world of difference in how clean and fresh your room looks. So if you're wondering where to start, just start by making your bed and you'll notice how satisfying it is. Next, we're doing a quick wipe down of the bathroom. Although I procrastinate a lot with cleaning, once I get to cleaning in the bathroom, it's hard for me to stop. This is the room that I get motivated in because I just imagine the amount of germs and then some OCD starts kicking in, which I don't mind in this sense because it makes me want to clean more. However, right now we're only spending less than 10 minutes wiping it down so we can get on to the next morning task and then head out. This is day one of my leave, so I wanna make sure to take the time I need to relax while still prioritizing my home that often feels neglected. Of course, we have to hit the kitchen real quick. Luckily, the task is to just put away the dishes because I can't stand washing dishes, especially in the morning. I have a wonderful husband that helps with that at night. So this is my first time trying any type of cleaning routine and I was afraid it would be too much and I would be too tired to continue on. But honestly, halfway through this morning routine, I had momentum and I was ready to get the rest of the task done. This honestly makes me really excited for a full week on this routine and I get to experience it on my days off as well as on the days that I work. So let's pray that I can handle it. I don't know why I was surprised that starting a load of laundry was part of this routine. If you don't know by now, if you have kids, you will need to do laundry more than once a week. And I've learned the hard way. Okay, so that morning routine is done. As you've seen, I had a checklist going on and I was able to complete it all. So we're gonna go, well, we're gonna eat the eggs first and then we're gonna head to the gym. And when I get back, we're gonna clean some more on the to-do list for today. So I'll see you then. And we're back. I am super excited to be able to go to the gym during the day when it's less crowded and I can take my time because no one is waiting on me. As I mentioned, I am on leave and I decided to take these couple of days off to just be able to breathe again. Working full time, 
Being a mom and wife is a lot. I am constantly feeling rushed. I'm busy at work, then busy at home. And although I am blessed to have a job and a family, I wish time could stand still for just a second and let me catch up. We all know that's not possible though. So I decided to be realistic and introduce two major changes in my life. One being the gym and the other being attending church. Now, one day at either of these places is not a quick fix for all, and that's not what I'm looking for either. I wish I would have started sooner, but better late than never, right? I've been working out for about 10 years now, but I stopped during my second pregnancy, and coincidentally, my mental and physical health plummeted. Like I said, I wish this was a fix for all, but I'd rather start from scratch and make it long lasting than pretend to be better and not be prepared for the next depressive episode. So before I showered, I wanted to get the main task done because I know that will make me sweat. And those who are cleaning the floors and putting away laundry. Also, if you're a toddler mom, I learned a laundry hack from a fellow toddler mom on YouTube. This has saved my mornings with my kids. So stay tuned for that later on. And for these floors, these poor floors have been getting so dirty and I am tired of mopping every day. So I took like a week break and not the best idea because now I have to get the steamer out and finally get it all cleaned. Does anyone else have this problem? Because here we go again with these boxes. I have been meaning to modify my baby wipe subscription on Amazon for the longest because you will see the amount of boxes we have later on in the closet full of baby wipes. Now, regardless of cloth diapering, our daycare needs a sleeve of diapers at least every three days. My oldest just wears pull-ups to go to bed, luckily. He is potty trained, but not too fond of using the bathroom at night. So until we fully transition, all these boxes are a part of my weekly taskers, which I've clearly have not been maintaining. Every time I take leave, I get so caught up on figuring out what I want to do and I end up setting too high of expectations when I know I need to be physically taking a break. I think I get caught up in the fact that I will have the time to do everything I wish I could do on a regular basis if I was a stay-at-home mom. Like sticking to a cleaning routine, having dinner prepared, having family activities planned for us. And I know that's not how it always goes, but it's what I've been wanting. But anytime I have some time off, I'm freaking out, feeling like I need to do more and I can't even take a nap because I've mentally fatigued myself. I cause myself to spiral and forget about the progress I've been making towards healing. I mean, I've been getting the best sleep ever, I've created a solid morning routine, and I've been consistently reading God's word. 
Because all this trying to heal myself is not working without knowing who he says I am. I wonder if you've thought about your progress as well. Have you stopped to think about that? Even if it's one thing you changed or noticed, don't just overlook that. And I'm saying this to myself as well. There will always be something to worry about. Sometimes we have to flip the switch internally and illuminate that one positive note. I may not know you, but I love that you are here right now because you are not alone. Please know that. getting to the last task and i'm so glad i didn't shower before doing this because steam mopping the floors has me sweating and this hot laundry is not helping but you will get to see how much easier it is to fold my kids laundry now that they share a closet my one-year-old still has a couple of onesies so i will be folding those and all the clothes that i bring to the daycare along with both of their pajamas other than that, the rest of the clothes get hung up on the cutest little hangers that we ordered on Amazon a while ago. If you guys are ever curious, I do add the Amazon links to everything that I use because most of my purchases are from Amazon and I love when other YouTubers make it easy for me to find something they've been using that I'm interested in. But the reason I've been able to have a more steady morning routine with my kids is the sole fact that I prep their clothes and outfits for each day of the week. If I could find the lady who introduced this on her channel, I would because I owe it all to her. I prep five or six outfits and in the morning, all I have to do is grab a hanger for each of the boys and my oldest dresses himself so I can simply worry about the little one and it's honestly cut down a good couple of minutes, making it easier to head out the door. As you see here, I'm simply pairing the bottoms and the tops on the same hanger. This way, I don't have to worry or think about what they're gonna wear the next day, or even worry the morning of if they have any clean clothes to put on. This is definitely something that I'm gonna pass on to every other mother I know, because it is a game changer. So I hope this video was helpful to you in many ways, and if it was, you can show your support by giving this a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. I love you guys, and I can't wait to try out this cleaning routine next week.